Okay, so what we're going to do is try to run through all of the features. We're going to test out the optical view mode features, which is mode one. And then we'll go into the GPS mode features, which is mode two. Uh, the key thing here to keep in mind is that it does automatically switch to mode two once it has the GPS signals required. So we're going to try to kind of get it up and flying pretty quick before it can have a chance to get in the signal. First thing I'm going to do though is calibrate the drone, which I covered earlier in the video. So just hang on for that. All right. I got a nice big open area here with no wind. First thing we're going to do is we're going to try out this function. I don't know how this works. I don't know. I don't want to try this one. It does not hover great when it's not in mode 2. Let's see, all right, it sees me, select. Now it should follow me. It's not. Okay, that one doesn't seem to work. Let's try hand gesture one. I think wind's picking up a little bit. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe somebody can help me out. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and land it. I don't get how the optical mode stuff works, but we're now in mode two, GPS mode, and we're gonna have way more success because I know all these functions work. Unlock the drone, take off. First thing we're gonna do is we're gonna do the tra tra trajectory flight or waypoint flight so we've got a little river over here we'll make it fly out over there and then come on back to us and then all I'm gonna do is simply send it and it's off and what you can do is control the angle of the camera while it flies it's gonna automatically go up to about 20 meters for safety as it flies nothing out here is taller than 20 meters or at least that it would encounter it's important too to keep good um, signal from the uh, the video signal by keeping the phone and antennas on the controller pointed toward the drone don't let anything get in between you and the drone. Otherwise, you'll start to get spotty signal. Uh, again, I'm not actually recording on the drone just because I'm, rec I'm screen recording. This would be HD. There's some water. Very nice. I'm going to take it back to SD. Stabilization on and uh, should still be 
nope, it's not flying its path anymore. So, well, maybe it was. So as you can see here on the map, it's flying the path. Down to the bottom right, you get a like a thumbnail of the camera footage. Lost a little bit of video signal there for a second. But it's coming back. It does only fly at one speed. Even if we switch to 100% power, you get one speed. It does work. So you can kind of set it and then forget about flying it and you can just control the pitch of the camera. So we're going to trash it right now. And the next thing we're going to do is the follow function, which is this bottom one right here. And what it's going to do is it's going to come find me. It does not change altitude on its own. So you can, you do have to control that. It keeps about a 15, 20 meter standoff or so for safety. And I'm going to bring it down kind of low, about head level. And I'm sitting in the truck, so obviously it sees me there. And um, what it does is it tracks off the remote or off the phone signal. And so it doesn't go very fast at all. So you do not want to run from it or you'll lose it. It'll eventually catch up, but it's going to lose you. I've noticed too that for some reason it flies slightly off angle from me. It flies slightly to my left. I don't know if that's something to do with calibration or GPS signal or, or what. I'm just gonna walk around it. It's gonna just turn in place. It'll follow from a higher height as well if you want it to. But you'd have to control that yourself. You cannot turn it, and if you use the right control stick at all, it will cancel the uh, follow function. Uh, something cool that you can do as well, because it's always just trying to keep that safety buffer between you and it. If you walk toward it, it backs up the signal of the phone pushes the drone away and again it's got a weird offset of a it, it doesn't look straight at me so I don't know if, what that is and if I push it back any further it's gonna hit a wall so I'm gonna cancel the flight and the last one we're gonna do is the 360 circle flight thing so oop, not that one which is this one sending data so I have no idea I haven't used this one before so I don't know what it's gonna do I'm just gonna stand in one place We're going to see what it does. It's just flying really slowly forward. We'll give it a chance.
I don't know what it's doing. It's just kind of creeping real slow. The camera's facing away from me. Let's try this other one. Nothing changed. It's just slowly creeping towards a mountain side. Let's cancel it completely. All right, it's turning. Okay, it's facing me at least now. Kind of facing me. Again, it's looking offset. Okay, now it's facing away from me. I don't know what it's doing in this situation, so maybe it just really likes that canyon wall. By the way, that beep you hear is when you hit the limit up or down of the camera rotation, it beeps at you to let you know. Okay, I don't know what this is doing. I'm going to cancel that. <clears throat> And uh, we're just going to fly it around a little bit. I'm going to climb some altitude. Let's see what we can get out of it. Altitude is, I believe the max is 250, if I remember right. Maybe it's 150. I think it's 150. And that's in meters, not feet. 120. And it does not go any higher. Find it out. Oh, low battery doesn't like that. So low battery is going to bring it back automatically to home. Stop it with that. While it's returning, it will find where it originally launched from. What I want to do is switch this back to not stabilization off, which then we can then turn it to the bottom facing camera, which is always a cool thing to do. And we're just going to hit the land button. And as you can see, it took off from the bed of my truck. It's one meter off from where it originally took off from. It's descending. Or no, wait, I didn't take off from the bed of my truck. I took off from the ground. So we'll see where it lands. I'm not applying any input, so you can see me down below. Directly under it. So that's one thing that's great about the bottom facing camera is if you're landing it somewhere and you, you want to see what's directly below you, you have that option. And it's coming in eight, seven, six, at about six meters, it slows its descent down to a much Softer landing speed. And once it senses the ground, it sets down. You close out and to uh, turn off the beeping. Alright, we're going to plug in another battery and just have a, a flight uh, to check out the range that we can get on it. It's pretty open out here. I'll make sure I maintain good connection. We'll see what it'll do. All right, we've got a fresh battery. And like I said, in this round, we're going to go ahead and check out its ranges. We already saw it goes up to 120 meters in altitude. It will not go any higher. However, I have punched it out some pretty long distances on flat desert. This area out here is pretty flat. And uh, we'll get it up to about 25, 30 meters in altitude. And then just punch it out. 
and see what it'll do. There's no wind out here, so I'm not too worried about it not being able to make it back if the battery dies. My only concern, and my concern always with the drones, is if you lose connection, will it then do what it's supposed to and come back to its origin? I'm going to take off from the bed of my truck, and then I will attempt to land it on the bed of my truck using the auto return button as well to just see how accurate that is. All right. We've got 18 satellites. We're in mode two. Let's go ahead and get it off the ground. I'm going to keep it at 50%. I'm going to open up the GPS ring shows the distance. Let's see what that ring is. A little bit of a crosswind out here that it's running with. It's running along a canal, what I can tell from the video. So, right at that line, we've got about. 200 meters. Signal's getting low. Slowing it down if it's top right. Or, uh, the top left corner. We've lost video signal, but I can still see the drone. We're still receiving GPS data. I'm flying it slowly forward. You can see we're losing some signal. Up in the top left. We're out over 300 meters in distance. Still at 26 meters above the ground. I have a visual on the drone. It is really getting out there. I really hope I don't have to go find it. because I'll be really upset. 350 meters. Still got signal. Not super strong signal. I wouldn't be doing maneuvers out there. Nice and slow. 360 meters. 70. I can still see it. And it's almost in California. I'm on the uh, Arizona California border here. 400 meters. It's still pushing. I can still see it. 420. Man, it is out there. I'm not going to fly this back. I'm just going to hit the return home. 460. This is quite a distance. 70, 80. Very, very minimal signal at this point, but it's still bleeping in and out. I don't have any video. 500 meters. And it is really out there. I could probably keep pushing it. Let's see what it looks like on here. Right now it's hovering. And it's not working. The Google Maps is not working. Once I've stopped flying it forward, my my signal does jump back up, which makes me feel comfortable. I'm going to keep pushing. I still have eyes on it. I feel like it's about to hit a mountain, though. Jesus, it is out there. I believe the specs say that it can reach out to 800 meters. And right now, I don't know, maybe it will. 600 meters, still got signal. I cannot, oh, yep, I can still see it in the distance. Barely. It's a black dot on the horizon at this point. We're going to do it. 700, come on.
it is just a freaking speck in the distance. 700 meters. As soon as it hits 800, I am hitting the return home button. Because I cannot hardly see it anymore. Come on. Almost there. Max. No, did I just hit the other one? trying to land. I hit the wrong button. It's 800 meters in that direction. Oh, come on. Oh, it says I've still got a signal. I don't see it anymore and it's really low. Come on, climb altitude. Climb altitude. There she is. Says she's in the air. I don't see it at all. I am so worried right now, but it says it's coming back. I do not see it at all. It says it's 21 meters in the air. I and it says it's closing. Six hundred meters. Oh, I see it. I see it. Oh my God, it is out there. Whoo! Be careful not to hit the wrong button. I hit the auto land instead of the return home button, and I guess I canceled it quick enough. And it is turned around. It is come back. It maxed out at eight hundred meters. It said no more. Thank. God, nobody needs to go any further than that anyways. There she is, 22 meters in the air. Uh, let me see if I can get the video connection back up. If you lose video connection, the best way to get it back is to just close the app and reopen it. I can actually hear it now. Man, I've got visual on it now. It's getting in here. It is swaying back and forth though. The uh, satellites seem to have dropped off for some reason up in the top left hand corner as you can see. And the wind is just affecting the crap out of it. So I'm going to take over flight. Oh man. And we're going to land it right here. Yeah, for whatever reason, it lost like the GPS and everything. But it's about 10 feet in front of me, hovering to a nice soft landing. All right, well, I'm glad you got to enjoy the stress of that long distance flight with me. Uh, key things to remember don't hit the wrong button when you want it to come back, hit the return home button, not the auto land button. Good God, because <laughs> I have no idea where I would have been hiking 800 meters straight out towards whatever direction it went. So, um, there you have it, 120 meters max height, 800 meters max distance. Hey, so I figured out the uh, connection problem to the uh, video is it lost the Wi-Fi connection and I had to just close it and reopen it, no big deal. Got experience flying uh, RC helicopters, some pretty, uh, well, I wouldn't say advanced. Uh oh, 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 uh oh. That's not good. The uh, drone just lost like all controllability. 
not really any wind to even speak of it was like just one of the motors just pooped out on me and just collided into this wall over here let's see how durable it is how about that so it just took a pretty hard hit into this wall here um it lost control there for a minute it was like one of the one of the motors just kind of crapped out and it just started flying backwards and i had no control of it um it folded in the two sides that hit i guess as it fell down the wall camera looks unscathed knocked the battery out a little bit blades are bent up some chips cracks not too worried i got extra blades these things do happen um, as I was saying, I used to fly um, RC helicopters, and I'm not talking like the ones from Walmart. I'm talking a couple hundred dollars. Uh, I think I've had about 400 or more dollars into mine. And uh, yeah, uh, ran it into a tree doing, doing laps around a park. Uh, with there was a little bit of wind so my wife said I couldn't spend that much money on helicopters again so I went with the drone and so let's see here fold the arms back out turn the battery off What's up with that um yeah i'll have to replace probably all four sets of blades yeah it was like it was flying and then all of a sudden this back left side just like gave out and it just started just backtracking as hard as it could into that wall over there and there was absolutely nothing i could do i gave it every input i could think to recover it and wasn't having it um, mm. so something to keep in mind lithium batteries if they get puffy and fat they're going bad and it may be this Arizona heat out here and the fact that this one just got flown that was a little puffy so I'll keep an eye on that uh, what I want to do is just see Yeah, you can even tell too, it's a little puffy because it's hard to get into the, the battery slot. Let's see if we can turn it on. I am curious if it'll unlock. Now, I'm not going to try to take off, obviously, but let's see. Guess she's not dead she lives to fly another day she's got to change out the propellers no big deal all right thanks for enjoying my uh my stressful review very stressful today man all right bye. so a quick follow-up i just got back um after shooting the drone footage out in the desert and most likely what i am assuming happened there at the end is that the drone simply overheated um, right after I got done recording on my phone, my phone actually overheated. It was extremely hot out. It is like 2 o'clock in the afternoon in the Arizona desert. And even though it's, you know, coming up on November, and some people are getting snow, it is still extremely hot out. So, most likely that is what happened. If it happens again, then we'll see.